see yourself as you are. Let go of expectations, your own expectations of the world and the expectations you believe the world has of you. Let go of what you believe is the right way to be. Let go of what you know of yourself in the world. You took in a lot of experiences and beliefs that were not an accurate representation of the world or of who you are. Our perceptions of ourselves and the world around us are conditioned by what our brain experienced registered in childhood, letting go of what I know, as if I'm an alien to this reality, letting go of what I know. Letting go of physical tension, fear, worry, and stress have conditioned me to hold tension bringing my awareness to my physical body, observing it as if it were not me, letting go of the judgment that supports physical tension, letting go of facial tension, eyes, the jaw, letting go of tension in the shoulders and neck, letting go of tension in the abdomen. We hide our stomach by holding it in, causing tension and shallow breathing. There's a strong correlation between stress and problems in the digestive system. Letting go of abdominal holding. Scanning the rest of the body, the legs, the feet, the arms, the hands, letting go completely, giving the weight up to the earth, the chair that you're sitting in. I'm supported and I can let go of all holding. Relax. Letting go of expectations of the world. The truth is I can't control any of it. If I've grown up around a lot of hostility, I see the world as hostile. If I grow up with safety and security, I see the world as safe and secure. There is pain and there's pleasure in the world. I can't control it but I can step out of the stream of good and bad. I can stop trying to control the world and I can stop trying to be the director. It's too big of a job and I can't change others. Letting go of expectations and desire. There's an intelligence in the universe that manages the universe. It isn't me can let go of trying to make things happen that are out of my control. I can let go of the rat race of chasing pleasure and eliminating pain. Letting go of desires, I can be in a state of gratitude for what I do have. Letting go of desires and expectations. Go of what I know. Matter is composed of atoms and energy. Atoms are 99.999% space. If an atom were expanded to the size of the solar system, there would be as much space in that atom as there is in the solar system. I see things and I don't experience what they really are because I know what they are already. And so it goes with everything. I don't pay attention because I already know, but what I know is a tiny fraction of reality, and often it's wrong. So letting go of what I know, 
I make space for a bigger reality. Matter is composed of space, and I perceive it as matter because I see color, I feel solidity, I see form. But even that solidity is mostly space and a lot of energy. So letting go of my understanding of the world and just experiencing what I perceive in the present. Consciousness does not require thinking. Letting go completely. Letting go of thought. I am composed of the same atoms, and I am more energy than matter. I can experience expansion. I normally live in a state of contraction because of what I think I know or how I interpret reality. As I hold on to my tension, my desires, my false beliefs, I become contracted into those tensions, desires, and false beliefs. They become part of my identity. As I let go, I experience expansion. Notice the sensation of relaxation. It's warm and it's expansive. I can feel myself relaxing. I can feel the sensation of relaxing in my whole body. Allow that sensation to grow just by letting go. Experience the space around you. Allow your energy to expand into that space. Expand into the entire room and past. Softening the boundary between what's me and what's not me. That boundary is not as solid as I think. Experience connectedness. Connectedness within myself. Connectedness with the world. Connectedness with the reality that is bigger than my contracted self. I want to be free, but when my attention is allowed to wander freely, it typically goes to where it's conditioned to go. If I truly want to escape living in the past, I need to be aware, attentive, and conscious of the reality and the beauty of the present moment. When my attention is allowed to wander, it usually ends up at something like, I'm not good enough. And then I start to punish myself by being hard on myself and that becomes a cycle. I punish myself, I try really hard, I feel good. Feeling good doesn't motivate me because the guilt is gone and I have to recreate the feeling of guilt so I feel motivated and so I do. by avoiding, by procrastinating, by not being my authentic self. I can't punish myself into being the person I want to be. If I want to be something, I first have to let go and be nothing. Like a blank canvas that something can be created on. That can't happen when my brain is on hyperdrive and I'm losing myself in the drama of life. Letting go. Letting go of everything except consciousness 
awareness and attention. And consciousness of the sensation of relaxation, consciousness of my breathing, consciousness of my thoughts, consciousness of my feelings, my sensations. Nothing to do but experience. Allowing myself to become passive and my attention to become active. I am a beautiful creation regardless of my struggles, regardless of the negative messages I've internalized, regardless of my shortcomings, regardless of how I've been treated. I'm a beautiful person and I'm worth investing in myself. I'm capable. I'm worth investing in myself. And I deserve the good feeling that comes with success. I don't have to create guilt anymore. I don't have to sabotage myself in order to create the guilt that has been motivating me. I don't need to be motivated by guilt. I can be motivated by the beliefs I'm capable investing in myself. I deserve the good feeling that comes with being successful. I can leave that cycle of guilt. I can be motivated by what I want to create for myself. I'm capable. I'm worth investing in myself. I deserve the good feeling that comes with success. Hold back into what I'm conditioned to experience, which is usually shame and guilt, is the result of the conditioning of my childhood. That conditioning is not hardwired. You can say it's softwired is capable of changing. The neurological connections are capable of being undone and reconnected. It can be changed, but it requires attention and intention. I have to develop the ability to be intentional if I'm going to overcome my conditioning. It takes practice and I can't punish myself into being there. When I go back to sleep and fall back into the dream of my insufficiency, beating myself up is not the way back to wakefulness. Knowing that I am capable of better and that I'm doing it for my own self-actualization, not because I need to meet others' expectations. Letting go. Breathing. Enjoying the stillness. The peace. Letting go, letting go, letting go.